Come on, Sam. Put your shirt on. that on. David Taylor, there. domination. And first off, you Paul get the first Paul score. Paul. What did that mean? And winning that scramble, that big scramble at the end of the first period. What did that do for your confidence? It was good, you know, there's more of these kind of get wrestle these guys, I think more and more will be able to get to our offense. A little hesitant sometimes because these guys are real tricky in there, especially they got a lot of energy. So the plan was to wear them down and get to our offense. What about how it was? Um, I won those couple scrambles and at that point he really didn't have much left. Speaking of being tricky, he's feeding you his lead leg. He's like baiting the leg. What were you thinking when he's baiting that leg? Well, I know he's good. I know he's got a good chest leg. I know he's to cover the head, score. He's got, you got to get to, the, get to your shot and really get to the angle quick. That first one, we got a scramble, boom, hit the leg, scored. Up 2-0. Now I was trying to build my leg, build my lead a little conservative. You know, a couple of scrambles could have probably been avoided, made it a little easier on myself. But, you know, against those guys, even with those big scrambles, there's not much left. And uh, so that's, that's important. Talk about wrestling here in Times Square. I mean, yeah, last year you were in the train station. Yeah. This time you're in Times Square. No, it's unbelievable. Look at all these people. Look at this scene. I haven't wrestled the Olympics or the World Championships yet, but this is something that's pretty special. You know, rivals the NCAA Championships. This environment's awesome. These kids get a chance to see phenomenal wrestling. And Beat the Streets does a great job putting on good matchups that people want to see and exciting guys in the United States. Being such a marketable guy, you know, I've seen Adidas has picked you up, Flips Wrestling's picked you up, the socks, you got Compound with the socks, all this stuff, and, all, and, and essentially we've never really had endorsements in wrestling. You're kind of changing that. What's that been like? I wouldn't say that I'm doing that. Uh, you know, I think it just says a lot about the sport of wrestling right now. You know, providing some opportunities for guys to just train. I think about trying to fulfill their goals. So I'm really thankful for that. For the next two and a half years, my goal is being an Olympic champion. So, you know, thankfully now, that's all I got to train about. That's all I got to think about. You know, you know, and it's just going wrestling every day, trying to get better, trying to improve my lead on guys like that. And you know, that's the thing that makes wrestling so special. I'm really thankful for these opportunities. And uh, you know, wrestling's going in the right direction right now. It's growing. We're doing what we need to do, and that's what's important. Trials isn't very far off. I mean, what's, what do you do tomorrow? And, and what's, what's your schedule look like leading the Madison? This is a good match. You know, it was kind of in training. Progressive for the World Team Trials. Um, great opportunity to wrestle a great guy. You know, now it's the rest of this week. I'm not real sure. I was talking to my coaches, and then you know, we got really probably one and a half weeks of good training, and then it's time to great for the tournament. And then, you know, that's this year. That's my what I have in, that's what I have my mindset to. That's what the rest of this year is going to, you know, depend on is how that result goes. So that's something I'm definitely looking forward to, and it's something I'm really excited for. Being such a marketable guy, you know, being here in Times Square, being able to, and I know you don't really care about putting your brand out there. I know that's not what you're worried about. You're worried about winning titles, but being here in such a huge stage, the hugest, the largest stage, you know, media-wise in the world, what's that like? And having Dana White here too. That was awesome. I mean, a guy like that, who's as influential as he is, to be at this event. There's a lot of people here. I think that are liking the sport of wrestling, and they want to be involved. And like I said, that's what, need, what we need to grow the sport. I don't think rule changes are what we need. You know, I don't think it's dual formats are what we need. I think it's people that want to be involved to grow the sport and take in the direction it's going right now. And with those people being here, I think we're doing the right thing. The right people are out there wrestling right now, the guys that want to be aggressive and score points, and that's what this country needs. That's what wrestling needs. So I think that's what the big goal is. That's what we're doing right now, and I think that's what needs to continue happening. Thanks, David. Yeah, thank you.